Hideo Kojima made a nice appearance at the Tribeca Film Festival and did some some of his usual sort of wonderful fusion of of movie stuff and video game stuff and was just sort of rubbing shoulders with. Yeah, is there a media event that Kojima won't go to? Like he's just at everything. Like Quinceanera. I mean, there's no media coverage of your kids. What are you talking about? I had a hashtag. We were trending. <laughs> anyway, he's uh, such a fan. He's yeah. like, yeah. there's going to be all these movie people here? Amazing. So obviously he's, you know, he's busy working real hard on this game and hanging Jeff out with... Jeff uh, follow him around with uh, Snapchat filters. And hanging out with, uh, with with Norman Reedus and all that. Uh, and we got a little bit of an update on what they're doing with Death Stranding. Sort of. Uh, he said, let's say that Norman's character is walking in New York. We're trying to see what we can depict with Decima Engine actually looks like New York, if it scales correctly and what feels good there. Let's say the character goes in an Italian restaurant. Who the character meets going into the restaurant, what he will be eating, all those details are decided, are set. What we're working on right now is what kind of table will be there, what kind of specific details will be there, what's on the specific menu for this restaurant. So if you want to know how Death Stranding's coming along, they're trying to figure out what Norman Reedus's character will be ordering at an Italian restaurant. <laughs> this game is never coming out. <laughs> Holy moly. You have to figure out what kind of table. Well, there's an easy one. It's going to be red and white checker cloth. Yeah, and obviously. Be like a okay, what I think this in. means is that things are actually... Like the way the world looks, just it just doesn't have skins on it, right? It's just like a white box. No, it's well, I think he's also. I mean, this is yeah. Th I think you're even taking this too literally. What he means is that the broad strokes of the story and the arc and the characters and the actions are done, and what they need to do oh, is, is make the video game. game. Yeah, I assumed oh, it was yeah. more than that. So, yeah. Do you think he was using this as just a vague example because they were in New York for this, or and because he that... wanted to meet De Niro, and because so he's like, "I'll just talk about that scene from the he first." Really Godfather likes movie. spaghetti. Yeah. yeah. So that's uh, that's he the does, kind of yeah. the follow up part is that. Kojima posted a bunch of photos having hanging out with with Robert De Niro, uh, which is sort of so a weird. Sweet. I mean, the guy is getting like worlds collide. The guy's getting good actors in his games, and yeah. occasionally you see that where there's you know an actor who shows up doing mocap or facial facial capture or whatever. Are you saying? Are you saying? Just say the words. Do I hope that I hope that De Niro is in So do I. Can you imagine <laughs> it, living in a world where Robert De Niro is in a video game? Like that is so crazy to me. Cool yeah. 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 He also tweeted video. something that was like. I've now shaken hands with a bunch of people who Robert De Niro had shaken hands with. Like, if you look at his Twitter, he, he was like, I, I, I shook hands with all of these people. Like, like and I he met has Al this Pacino weird thing about not James washing Khan. his hands. Yeah, yeah he's got to wash those, those he's mitts. He's like, though. I wasn't going to wash my hands until I got back to Japan. I don't remember who that tweet was about. Can't but be good. Yeah, he, he said that one time. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, right. yeah, the Jeff Keighley reference was Jeff Keighley tweeted a whole bunch of pictures of Kojima um, with uh, Snapchat filters, and they're all pretty great. Yeah, yeah. I want to hang out with Kojima in New York. Those. Yeah, just, me too. God, I just, I'm. I just want to hang out with Kojima. Period. Yeah, yeah. just anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. I love the idea of just, I don't know, five years from now or something. You know, what are you playing? Oh, I'm playing that new De Niro game. Yeah. <laughs> Do you believe that love can bloom on the battlefield, Fokker? <laughs> I got large uh, tentacle cables. Could you? Uh, <laughs> you know, some sort of nano machine construct. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, all I want, uh, given his love of De Niro and La La Land, I just want him and Emma Stone in the game, and then we're good. Yeah. I, you know, I've said it before, I believe on this very podcast, I, I'm very excited for Death Stranding. I feel like every time we hear about it, that goalpost gets moved further and further away. Kind of and I, Like, I, I just want them to just zip it up and work on the game. Well, that's what I was just then, thinking. Yeah. Like, the more different famous actors you put into it, the more pieces of a puzzle they have to fit into a plot. Yeah. Well, not only that, but, like, the more... Uh, super intense schedules you have to work with for yeah. shooting and like booking people to come out to wherever you're gonna have. You know, but it's gonna be out at E3. They're gonna say it's out now. Yeah, right. I don't think oh, you are wrong. Sure. Yeah, you bet your career on it. Be a good little. Already done that for a couple of things. So I'm fine. Maybe maybe Kojima just said this because he was tired of he didn't want to talk about it, and so he just just rambled about Italian restaurants. I don't know. Guys, I'm stoked I for this game. Do that, you know? I don't honestly I don't really care if this game never comes out. I'm kind of just okay with it being this constant like, oh yeah, it's gonna be good. Yeah. We're, we're working yeah, on it. We've got we've got a real time spaghetti. It's working great. I'm okay with hearing about like one weird thing about it every month for the rest of my life. Yeah. 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 I'd be a little bit better playing it in a couple of years, but yeah. Yeah, whatever. Well, I, think, yeah, I mean fine. I think the biggest lesson that we learned from Metal Gear Solid Five was that 
you've got to be patient when it comes to working with this dude. Yeah. Uh, you know, like we waited from the time that the Phantom Pain was announced to the release date of Metal Gear 5 to it actually coming out. How, how many years was that? Like several. Yeah. So Second, it was yeah. so long. Uh, and the game was amazing, but there's no denying that that game was not finished in the, the vision that he had. So, you know, working for himself, doing his own thing, regardless of whether or not there's these little trickles of information, mm-hmm. you know, just let him do his thing, even yeah. if it takes six or seven years. Like I Koji be Koji. Like, yeah. I mean, yeah. he also intentionally hired a bunch of people who didn't have uh, video game experience necessarily, yeah. which could potentially slow things down. Could go wrong. We'll uh, see, I, I guess. I like it. I like it. Hey, everybody, that was just a small sample of what we do on Beyond every week. Be sure to head on over to youtube.com slash IGN Beyond to subscribe and get full episodes every week when we put them up. Of course, we're also available in audio form from wherever podcasts are downloaded at from. Words.